everybody and welcome back. It's Karen. I've got a, a theater fold style card for you today. I have made these before and I've done a video but this one is a five by seven inch card so it's a little bit bigger than the last one I did so I thought I'd show you all the measurements for it. So this is my little cheat sheet that I keep in a binder with all my other interactive cards uh, and I have a little mock-up that I make from very flimsy cardstock. And this is how this theater fold card goes together. And I just personally find it easier to see it um, and it makes more sense to me then. So I'm, I'm leaving this in. But for the front, I do cut two pieces and I double it up because as you can see, once you cut out that aperture, uh, it becomes very flimsy. So I like to have two layers on that front just to make it a bit sturdier. And it does come completely off. Uh, and then at the back you've got those sleeves which just work to hold the, the curtains in place. And I do like to cut thumb holes from those uh, front pieces. Now these curtains, this is how they go. They attach at the back with that outer quarter that you've uh, creased. And then they fold in and out. And there is, you can put a platform in. I chose not to today, but I've left in this part just to show you how it, you could easily put one in. And I show you a bit more later on. So if you're interested, I would say take a screenshot of that and hopefully that will help give you the right dimensions. And then to make this, I've cut out two, uh, well, two five by seven inch pieces for the front and one for the back. And I've used a Hero Arts rounded rectangle die to cut out the aperture opening. Now this is the curtain, which again is a five by seven inch piece of cardstock, and I'm scoring that down the middle at three and a half inches. And then you want to score again halfway back to the beginning. So that ends up being one and three quarter inches. And basically it's just easier to do the same thing for the other curtain as well. And then what you're going to do is rotate one of them and you want all those creases to be on the outside edge. So that's the one that would rotate and the creases are to the outside and then that's how it's going to go together inside. So keep those in mind because when you go to add things on, you'll need that. Okay, so I chose to use the Craft Consortium Ocean Tail paper for this because it's just perfect. I wanted to do on top of the ocean on the outside of the card and when you open it up, it's the bottom of the ocean. So I chose those two strips of, of scenery from, from that uh, paper pad and Craft Consortium has released this coordinating colored cardstock. So I've just chosen two of the blues to go with it. And I have mounted my uh, scenery piece on it because um, that scene is just the width of the opening. But I did want to keep the height so I could fit more on the inside. So I've cut that to be five by seven and I've cut that in half at three and a half inches exactly. And I'm making sure here I have my curtains going the right way because <laughs> I'm now going to glue these down and I didn't want them to be backwards. So you have to just check that when you go to glue the, the outside piece on that you've got the curtains, the right curtain that you're attaching it to. Okay, so now for the inside, I actually cut this a little bit wider, seven and a quarter inches wide. And I did that because you're going to end up, I didn't want to have a gap where these curtains meet. So if I had cut it exactly the right width, I think I may have had a bit of a gap if I wasn't gluing it down exactly right. But this way there's a little bit of wiggle room so I could make sure. So I've cut off the one and three quarter inch off both ends of that background piece and I am just gluing them down in place, making sure I have them on the left and the right sides. I'm making sure it's well pressed down. So they will go like that. And then what you want to do to figure out where to put that middle piece, or at least this is what I do. I just uh, make sure I line these up right against that outside edge at the back. And I just put a pencil mark where the, where the inside curtain will go. So I'm lining that up with the edge, holding it in place and just putting a little pencil mark there. And because that middle piece is just that extra quarter of an inch wide. It's an eighth of an inch wider on each side. You can just straddle those two little marks that you've got and it should be right. So it just makes it a little bit easier. So I'm just finding those marks and evenly spreading it across there. 
And then once you've got that in place, then you can glue those sleeves in place. And so you can you don't notice any discrepancy in the scenery. It's fairly continuous. I, uh, even when I've done it, I I don't notice anything. But there is no white mark. Okay, now I'm going to show you here that um, that little plinth at the front, or the stage. You, what I do is I fold these. Make sure they're evenly lined up and I put washi tape or masking tape or something in place to hold those two layers together. And I put a little pencil mark where I want that little platform or stage to go. And I make it a wide, um, not wide, but a little bit of a rectangle opening there because you do want that to be able to slide back and forth and to move, especially if you're going to glue anything onto that, that stage. But it is easier if you make that opening with both of the sleeves taped together because then it's in the right position um, without having to measure basically. And then once you put that platform in you do want to put little stoppers on both ends so that it can't come through and I just use little scraps of cardstock. And you can of course decorate that stage. So here I've got a little scrap piece of cardstock from the book um, The Ocean Tales. And you can put stamped images on it. You can put a sentiment on it. So there's lots of things you can do with the platform. I just chose not to put it in today. So now I've glued down that left sleeve and I'm attaching it. I'm lining up the back edges there, the outside edges, making sure it's even and just pressing it in place. And the same on the right side, I've used some glue and I'll line up those outside edges there so it goes down and the edges line up. And honestly, this is the hardest part, I think, of this card. Just getting all those edges lined up and the, the pattern lined up. So that's the inside. And now I've added in these stamped images from that Ocean Tail set. I did clear heat emboss them just to give them a bit of shine and it did deepen the color quite a bit. And then that sentiment on the inside is from Creative Expressions. I've got everything listed underneath in the description though everyone. Okay now this is the sleeve and I like to leave a little bit of wiggle room with these. So you can see I've shifted that slightly off from the half inch mark. So it's not quite a half an inch that I'm creasing it but you want this to bow out a little bit. You want a little bit of wiggle room for the curtain to slide through. So if it was you know a half an inch um, it would be pretty snug. So I've shifted it to the right and then I for the left side I go to a whole number and I shift it just slightly back to the left and then crease at what would be the half inch mark. And then those are going to be the sleeves. So I've put double sided tape on them and I'm going to just attach those to the edges of the front piece now. So I'm lining up the top and the right hand edge and just pressing that in place. And then you do exactly the same on the other side. And because it's not snug, you're going to see that little bit bowing out. So because we didn't make it completely a half an inch, there's a little bit of extra room there. So there it is lined up against the one edge. And remove the release paper again and line it up with these edges again. And then you'll see that there's just that extra little room on both curtains. Now I like to have a thumb hole in these so I've marked the halfway mark on this and I've just taken a very small circle die and I'm taping that in place and I'll cut through all those layers and that will just give you a little bit of room to grab onto that curtain uh, to slide it open. So there you have it. Now to attach this that left curtain will just go through one side of this front and then you slide the other side through. And there is nothing to hold this in place. It can come off, um, but just on its own, it doesn't typically come off. It's, you'd, you'd have to work to slide it out. And so it's quite fun that when you open it up, you have a completely different scene. It's like two cards in one. Now, I have uh, already done that sentiment. Um, it's a Kaisercraft sentiment. This is obviously going to be a Father's Day uh, card. 
And I did think that um, for the front, I've put two small circle dies together to cut these little uh, round circles that I just went over with a red Copic marker pen to make a life preserver kind of looking circle. <laughs> so I just cut that in half when I'm attaching that to those little openings. So I did use the same die. I think that's what I was trying to show you. That small one is the same die I used for the thumb holes. Uh, and now Craft Consortium has these wood shapes and I just thought this, this uh, wheel was kind of a fun one to have. So I'm just gonna put some glue on that. Uh, you don't want it to extend over it, the front, obviously, because you'll glue it all down. So I'm just putting glue on the outside edge there and just making sure it's not gone through to the back. And then these are little puffy stickers also from Craft Consortium. And I just thought those seabird seagulls were quite fun to put on there. And I, I did, they do extend past and the whole thing is sticky. So I went back and I used an anti-static powder just on the backs of those to make sure they didn't stick to the curtains also. So I did that right there and I did the other side as well. And then that's the card. So I just thought that was kind of a fun idea for a Father's Day card. Um, I love the way that these open up and you have a completely different scene on the inside. There's lots of room to write on the back or you could attach a flap if you wanted. But there you have it. It's a five by seven inch theater fold card. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you're having a great day.